let's quickly revise what is Asherman syndrome and what is the management. Asherman syndrome is when the anterior and the posterior walls of the uterus are opposed to each other. There's a raw area on both the walls that basically obliterates the entire potential cavity. Okay, now the management of Asherman syndrome will depend upon how much layer of endometrium has been damaged. If it has been damaged up to the basal endometrium, then it will not regenerate and nothing can happen. What are the basic causes of Asherman syndrome? The most important cause is doing a DNC that is curettage after delivery. Second cause is doing a curettage after missed abortion. Third can be endometritis due to tuberculosis, cystosomiasis. Fourth can be trans cervical resection of endometrium which is done for DUB but it is not done anymore. Fifth cause is when we do a uterine packing to prevent PPH after delivery. And the sixth cause can be any kind of myometrial surgery like myomectomy, like caesarean and any other surgery. What are the most common complaints the patient presents with? If they ask you as a group, then as a group menstrual irregularity which includes secondary amenorrhea, oligomenorrhea, hypomenorrhea means scanty periods are the main complaints of the patient with Ashermans. Second group of complaint is infertility and the third is recurrent miscarriages. Now if they ask you, they give you options between infertility, secondary amenorrhea, hypomenorrhea, then you will choose infertility not hypomenorrhea or secondary amenorrhea because as a group menstrual irregularity comes first as a complaint. What are the investigations of choice? Now, investigation of choice is different from the most common investigation or the first investigation that you will do. The first investigation is always in gynecology, transvaginal sonography because it is cheapest and it is very easily done. It is non-invasive. The investigation of choice here will be hysteroscopy. Why hysteroscopy? Because it is diagnostic as well as therapeutic. You can diagnose and you can treat as well. Now, transvaginal sonography can be combined with either saline infusion sonography depends upon the expertise of the doctor or HSG. Now, remember HSG and SSG are almost similar efficacy. What you get in HSG is a honeycomb appearance because of the Asherman syndrome, there are adhesions inside, right? So, the first investigation will be TVS. Second can be SSG or HSG to diagnose. Once it is diagnosed, then you can go for hysteroscopy along with therapeutic hysteroscopy, right? In hysteroscopy, you will not get the proper triangle which is formed between the two ostia and the internal os. Because of the adhesions and the obliterated cavity, that triangle will not be there. They will be in drawing of the lateral walls and they will be dipping of the fundus. Now, how do you manage Asherman syndrome? First thing is you have to do a hysteroscopic adhesiolysis using scissors. Followed by either you put a Foley's catheter inside, which is a pediatric catheter of 8 or 10 size, or you can use a Cook's balloon catheter, or you can use hyaluronidase gel. Hyaluronidase gel is not available in India. If you are putting a catheter, you put it for 8 to 10 days. Followed by, you have to give them cyclical estrogen plus progesterone for the endometrium to grow. So that is all about Asherman syndrome. Thank you.